the king is back. Thank you. Get him. How are you doing? I'm your boy. I'm back. I'm back in New York City. I had to go out of town for a little bit. I'm back. Um, I'm probably going to see a couple of people and we just take the ride. So, ladies and gentlemen, by Krispy Kremes themselves, the taxi driver who has just given us a nice taxi ride and some Krispy Kreme. Appreciate that, man. Jesus loves you, brother. I'm taking you with me for a day of running around. Since my baby is gonna be in the shop, being prepared, I'm gonna run around with some people and harass people and all like this stuff, right? Life of a producer, what up? But this is the life of Jimmy Hendrix. Earrings and K-Swiss kicks and leather bombers Hip-hop that fell upon us It was all in your blood so I guess I got it honest The onyx came out I used to love sticky You threw me on stage at Scully It's live with me It was the first place I got my first taste Took me to the twins and we got the first place What is it? Is it to make music? Is it to... Take this talent that we have and give it to the world for profit Is it for the love? Everybody's saved, grinding all night. It's hard, man. Days should be no money in your pocket. You gotta be at work. Baby mama doing you. Ah, yo, why the heck do you always doing that music stuff? I still hear that, man. Still hear that every day, yo. First time, you know. Life is such a learning experience, man. When you realize that music is, is is a big part of your person's life, but it's not everything. But you know, you just you just have to find that divide. That's a producer. You know, it's hard. Around all these people, you know, trading on things. It's such a big battle. Even with artists in the industry, you know, their home life would be so. It's tough to be sold, you know, in shambles for some, and some may have to be like, but others it's not. It's a harsh reality, man. As an upcoming producer, you know, you gotta roll with the punches as you go and keep going. Because that, through the whole struggle of being a producer, your ups and downs is what kind of carves you out as a person, individual. So you know, remember, you, get, you carve yourself out for you, for your own sound, for your own energy. And, world is going to hear. That's what makes you reduce. People can identify you with your music. Not just something that sounds like somebody else. Some producers can do it. Others can. Some people can play any role. Some people can play all instruments. All that you know? Luckily, you know, some have been blessed with it and others haven't. But that don't mean that the grind is working. You know, can't get you where you need to be. If anything, it'll get you through. Some producers and artists are, they so talented until they're too talented. It's too musical or they're too, you know, their swag is too much, you know. It takes away from the music after a while. The other day you keep it at music, keep the product hot, people gonna keep coming. Starting out, trying to do the music thing. Like, what made you just straight ready? How long you been banging? I've been banging there since I was eight years old. How are you getting Just let me know we back on the block, we on location. Had to go and take a look, see my man. In the hood, of course. Let y'all know. I mean, this place called Sugar Hill right here where it gets serious. My man Mike G, Mike Geronimo, for some who might know. This is my soul, this is my season, and, and, and.
niggas fighting for no reason We got to do some or we gon' lose some This is my soldiers, all my full soldiers This is my soldiers Like people always be, yo, people always be wanting to know What the hell do producers and artists do? Like, they make them, they cool This is Niggas just do it in a in the neighborhood, like they only be on the cameras and that all ill parties. Or do they really hang out? You know what I mean? This is my nigga Mike G man from, from day one when I first started doing beats. Yo know, he been looking out, you know what I mean? A lot of people didn't know who the hell I was, you know what I mean? This dude right here just gave me a chance to work on the whole album, you know? My man Dollar, my man Red. I always kept kept cool, I always keep keep my, my circle tight. Won't let YouTube know about Mike, man. Y'all know about Mike Geronimo, you better put Google, baby, you know, look at that on MTV yeah. too. Look at the behind the scenes and stuff that be going on, man. How companies you know, got this man right here fools a lot, especially in New York City, man. So I don't make top 10 most views, but you get locked up video on YouTube and shit, I keep moving my head out and shit. What's happening though? What would you say about producers up and coming? Like, what's the best saying that the gang gonna switch up? Back to the first time I told y'all about the business, being smart and knowing the business, I told y'all. The first trap is, all right, you producer, you make that hit, you start popping and that money cut, you start coming. That's, yeah. that's a trap in its own. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And that's, an invisible trap. You don't see that trap. Like a blink. Like right. It comes that, like that, a flash. That, nigga, you know what it is. One minute your bank is right. negative. You, the next you know minute your is. bank is right. way You ridiculous. start seeing all them holes and you start going. And everything you look at, you can almost literally get. Mm -hmm. and, and your light change and that, in a sense, is a trap in its own because it's kind of like, it's like going. Um, it was like having a genie and shit pop up. Like, go right out, grant you whatever you wish, but you gotta be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Yeah. So that trap, to avoid that, I would say things like staying around the people, not necessarily the area, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the people around you that was always there from day one that wanted the best for you. Man, keep fucking with the niggas, cuz. to tell you what you need to do to make your music hot. And the funny shit is the only motherfucker that got you the way you was, that made hot shit, was you. And that was before anybody told you shit. Who's gonna pick up the baton for teaching these kids? I see you like, telling me get money when you got it. You just gotta wait for that shit to sink in and then when your child is old enough for that mentality is fully enveloped in that child's body, wait till that man's son comes in at about 18, 19 years old with the I get money, money, I got mentality. He's gonna be like, yo, I created a monster. Mike Geronimo, King of King, Mass Bomb, music, we here, I'm signing out, it's been real. Check my nigga, JK, Jimmy Kendrick, check me, of course.